What is the test? Yeah. Thank God. Uh, something is I have proxy testimonies, but I miss my most chat to green chance. There is there is something. So in the last uh, meeting that uh, I attended, uh, brother was saying that giving a uh, testimony for another person who was uh, having a particular addiction, and then he told him that you keep on saying that uh, this body belongs to the temple of the Holy Spirit, and not this body belongs to you. And uh, in fact, even I was fighting through an addiction uh, much more than even before coming here. Also, I was just praying and. Something I had a sense of, okay, you get your reply, and I did get the reply when the answer. Why don't you? He told that well that you keep on saying that the, the body, the temple of the Holy Spirit, and the, you know, this, uh, my body belongs to you, Lord. And I keep on, kept on saying it. And this addiction just left. But I was a little bit cautious because brother was saying that that was the side that after some time it again came. So he kept on saying. Like morning, evening, night, I was only going on saying that and saying that and saying that and saying that and again. And it just left off. So I really got my reply when I came there. And most of the time what happens is when I would ask the Lord, I said, Lord, I have this problem, that problem, and go for counseling. But I get all my replies when I come, even before I go for counseling. Thank Praise, you. Praise you. the Lord. Anyone else? Okay, we'll open my mouth, I will check. <laughs> so this is a proxy to this particular person was supposed to come for the first three sessions I have been calling her to come over here and testify. And uh, she has not made it. So this is one of our staff who was, um, I just heard that uh, she was admitted with a heart attack, a young staff of 28 or 30 years old, she was admitted in the King's Hospital with heart attack. So it was quite surprising and um, I always, uh, whenever I hear this, we claim that uh, Whenever I hear this, I claim uh, that uh, victory is uh, God's and not Satan's. Yes. So with this confidence, um, I had my friends who were in prayer. So we three of us agreed that we declared a victory over this um, Satan's attacks and um, this person is set right. This is what we prayed. Simple prayer, we three in agreement. Let's say the prayer in agreement. So we prayed alike. And uh, we were in one hour in praise and worship. Uh, because we were ministering to somebody. At the end of it, we decided we would go to the hospital and see the person. It was quarter to ten. And, we, and this person was admitted at 2.30 afternoon. And when we reached the hospital, the hospital said she's discharged. And we just said, praise the Lord. I mean, it is amazing. Somebody gets admitted with a heart attack and you hear the news of heart attack and the person gets discharged by 10 p.m. So, I was quite surprised. Though surprised, we said, praise the Lord. And uh, we dispatched. And when I reached home at 11.30, First thing I did was I called her. She said, I did get admitted. Now also I have breathing difficulty, but I had to come home because of children. I said, how did the doctor let you go home? They said, they did not want let me to go home, but I felt I'm all right. I asked her, what time did you feel all right? She said, eight, uh, around 8, 30, 8, 45, I felt I can breathe well. And that was the time I looked back and see that we had agreed in prayer. So exactly that was the time. So I kept to myself, but I told her, she said, I can't sleep now. I have breathing difficulty. And her doctor, later, the story was told to me later, uh, her doctor had expected, told her not to go home. But even if you go home, I know that you will get back within half an hour was the statement given to her by the doctor. Mm -hmm. And they are all still working here. And this all happened in the month of uh, June. 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 Okay, just the latest. So, this was a Thursday night. And at 11 I told her, she doesn't know our scriptures very well. So, I told her, write it down. <coughs> Uh, because she speaks Malayalam, so she's not well versed in English uh, scriptures. So naturally I told her, uh, so now we write down what I'm saying to you. I am the body of Christ. Satan and sickness has got no power over me. So she wrote it down and I said to her, keep repeating this till you go to sleep. And, I, and she went off to sleep. And next morning, 8, p 8 a.m. I called her and she just woke up from her sleep. Now you can all tell me, somebody has breathing difficulty, how could a person go to sleep? The poor person declared heart attack on the previous day. Mm -hmm. So everything was so amazing. She slept off. She did not even realize that she had a sound sleep. At 8 a.m. when I called her, she got awake. She said, now when I'm awake, I'm feeling breathing difficult. I said, now? Because you are awake. So I said, now you say, thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I am set free. So with that, she continued to say that throughout the day as she was on the bed. And by noon, I did not call her. I called her around 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah, sorry, it's sorry. okay. I think you can hear me. Yes. Yeah. At 8 p.m. I called her again. She said, I'm 90% okay. Now, next day morning was Saturday. And 9.30, her uh, CT scan was scheduled. Now, coming. 
Now coming back to the point, um, she had done an ultrasound on the 2.30 p.m. on Thursday when she was got admitted and around all the doctors crowded around her to see the edema, the swelling around the lungs, around the heart, around the liver because I have the report copy kept with me and uh, whole fluid in the abdomen and her body was swollen around 4.5 kg was raised. And um, by Friday, no medications, only two injections was given on Thursday and by Friday everything disappeared and on Saturday when the CT scan was done by doctor, who, the one who did it on Thursday. So he got puzzled and he called the another one. And uh, second one also came and said, where did it all go was the question. <laughs> so we also have this question, where did it all go? Medically, scientifically, it is an impossible task. But our God is what? I am possible. It's possible. <laughs> so it's never impossible. Finally, this person did not go for emergency in the night and on the third day she was set free and the doctors told her to take rest for 10 days. I think on the fourth or fifth day she came off work and I asked her, oh, how is it? I feel more energetic than before. <laughs> so this is, and but I told her it's, it's only through the word of God she got set free. And if you ask me medically, being a medical person, I don't have an answer. It's only God can answer. Really. That was something that happened. Really, really a miracle. In fact, her physician uh, was, I have never seen anything like this before, he said to her and made her sit down and chronologically asked her what happened every hour, how come you didn't come in the night and what happened throughout your day, every explanation he wanted to know from her. And when he heard it, he was stunned. He said, I have never heard anything like this before and I want to document it. It may come to my help for some other patient. And even ask the scripture what you used. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. So this was a proxy testimony, but I can go on. Take a chance and say something. Come on, come on, come on. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, this testimony was due last time when we met here, but I hesitated and waited on. And by now, I have. Uh, pictures of before and after. Now my, my daughter, she is uh, now 20 to 23 years old and she is in Bombay. I have four daughters and one son, so this is the third child of mine. She has this coniosis, her spine is uh, the best shaped at the bottom. Yeah? And we came to know only when, when she had uh, malaria, due to it when they took her x-ray of the area came to know that she has polyosis and from then on uh, then we began meeting orthopedic doctors and all that it's been now nearly more than a year or two years now that she had this and uh, while she is in Bombay she has a roommate who's a God gave her a roommate who's a physiotherapist and uh, she continued with the exercises that she started from here and then this girl started with new exercises for her and last time before I came, uh, she told us a week before that onwards, this girl started new exercises for her. And she put up a picture on WhatsApp what it was before. And during this course of time when she started with her exercises, within a week, it had a straightening up. It's straightening up. And now, she has not yet sent us the picture because she's still doing it, you know, with this uh, colleague of hers. She's still doing the exercises and she said, I will send it after, after it's done. And there's quite a development. And all this happened. You know, I now it's been three months I've been attending here. I've been coming here. And uh, I started confessing the word of God from the booklets, what uh, I got from Dr. Saldana, Brothers Booklet. And my husband and myself, we were both claiming for my children to for us, for any illness, or whatever problem, health problems that we have. And we believe that from confessing this word of God, that Lord is working to on her spine. And it's a process that is happening, and it will happen, and Lord will give us the victory. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have many testimonies. First, I will give an uh, important one. 
uh, my daughter uh, became uh, last year. Became last year. Uh, uh, came last year uh, to Oman. So my daughter got a very small boil in uh, her chest. So we went to doctor. Then doctor realized that uh, she had uh, something inside. Something inside up to the bone. You had to remove it. Then yeah, we removed. Uh, we went to the hospital and removed it. It took uh, around two weeks, two three weeks. <laughs> two three weeks. So after that, uh, once he removed, he said very small things he will remove. But once they removed, this much here removed. It's a big bone. So I can't imagine. Uh, then three weeks he went to Apollo Hospital. Uh, after that, that nothing was happening. That wound as it is. So then. Uh, I had one of my friend crazy. I called her and I told her there's a wound, so I don't know what to do. Uh, then she said, you need to chain the doctor. Then I said, okay, where do I have to go? Then they said, uh, go, go to Altra Park. I will also come. She came with me and uh, they opened the wound. She saw that wound. She also got shocked. I saw her face. So. Uh, they, they treated with some kind of wound healing system that was 100 real per one system. Uh, they put it into my daughter's uh, wound, but uh, it was not available after that in the Oman. Then I said, Gracie, then nothing is here, we can't find out. My husband tried to get it from uh, Dubai. Uh, finally, he searched it, he brought two. But meantime, uh, I said, Gracie, I'm going back to Sri Lanka. Then Gracie said, don't go. The next day evening, Friday evening, she told me, you go to Saturday morning, uh, there's a doctor uh, in uh, Sagar Polyclinic. You tell, I told her, 8 o'clock, you'll be there. Then I came with my daughter, uh, that wound as it is. So then I showed doctor. I helped. First thing, okay, I cut short the story. So she, you can do it here. Yeah. Yeah. So, so she came over and uh, she was, uh, I think this is a God's way of uh, bringing people closer to God, okay? Um, so she uh, came over and. Um, it was not my, I'm not specialized for these things. <laughs> so, so it's okay. uh, finally, uh, I said to her, of course, I'm not dealing with the wounds or surgical cases, but anyway, let's have a look. So when I opened the wound, it was in a very bad condition. And I prayed to the Lord and said, Lord, you brought her here for a reason and a purpose. In everything that happens in our life, God has hand, has got purpose for our life. So I, I taught her some, I mean, gave them some scriptures, gave them, I mean, I want to go in the detail for that. I myself, frankly speaking, I had not thought about what am I going to do. But only thing I told her, give me five days time. And God is his great mighty hands in this. So in this five days, if you don't see a result, then I'll tell you what to do. So I didn't talk to her much. I just gave her advice, medications, and scriptures. I gave separate prayers for her daughter, for her, and all the advice I gave. Moreover, I think, I'm sure you must have felt love in our clinic, OK? <laughs> and uh, since, since then, she has been attending all the prayer meetings, all the prayer sessions. The, her prayer life has improved including the children. So they started with the Bible study, they started coming over here, and everything totally changed. Now what happened to the wound? So I am sure the Holy Spirit spoke to me, to say five days. At the end of five days, the wound, which was not healed anywhere else in Oman, was completely healed. It's a cut short story. Now, frankly speaking, I've done nothing about it. I just gave them the scriptures, and they said the scriptures, I learned from the booklet given by Brother Johnson. It's not from my pocket, okay? It's the scriptures from the Bible, which we learned from uh, attending the prayer sessions, and which I had, I gave it to her, and she learned about it, and then when they saw what happened in those five days, which never happened for a month time, it was a, again an unbelievable, I am possible case. Okay, and with this, the whole family understood the power of God. 
and still they are in process and it's amazing. And now the way they have come closer to the Lord, they don't want to miss a single Bible study, single uh, prayer session. They are there. The, her her mother, daughter, son are there. Today they are they're coming late, right? Yeah. Okay, but uh, they are always there. Amazing, amazing things. About God is wonderful. He's mighty. He's all powerful. Great. And the word of God is who can tell? Characters of word of God. Uh, a A A. Active, alive, abundant life. Then two E's. Energetic, effective. Then O P. Maybe we can type. Give me some back. Please. Basic. Say that again. No, three A's. I mean, say I'm from medical school, you know. In medical school, we have to buy her certain anatomy, physiology. So it's very difficult. So he said, this bone has got three actions. So this one. <laughs> so you say, active, alive, abundant, abundant life. Two E's. Energetic and effective. OP. Operative and powerful. Don't change the word. <laughs> then there are other characters, but this is something. Um, you know, easy to remember. So when you say what a God is, active, alive, abundant life, energetic, effective, operative and powerful. So everywhere it works, in any part of, you know, any condition, any situation of life. Amazing, amazing. I can go on all day. Somebody sits in my clinic. I think she was another one. She is uh, sitting in the clinic. I will start with what a God. <laughs> so anybody, anybody wants to share anything, please come over. It's the only testification glorifies Lord. <laughs> now, uh, my father passed away last uh, this month, 21st. I went to Sri Lanka. Uh, I was angry with my elder brother. Uh, 20, 30 years, I didn't see him. Uh, four and a half years back, I went to Lalita in Sri Lanka, Lalita does prayer meeting. So from there, I learned uh, I have to forgive. The first thing I uh, heard that, learned that. I have to forgive. Then I was, uh, it was the difficult thing to forgive my uh, elder brother. So from that, four and a half years back, I was praying, I was telling Jesus, I don't know how to uh, meet him, I don't know how to forgive him, your way you will do. I was keep on doing and praying that last 21st he came to my father's funeral. Uh, I saw him after 30 years maybe, I didn't see his face, but everyone was talking very nicely, peacefully, whole family was talking with each other, nothing was uh, asking why didn't you come or maybe peaceful uh, environment that day. Praise the